And you I'm know. getting excited right now just talking yes, about sir. it. So, <laughs> when you talk to your congregation, when being that you are the leader of your congregation. Yes, sir. And they see you and you're like setting that example. How does it feel to know that they look at you as, you know, the guidance? You have been sent down. You know, and uh, there's a lot of things that I, uh, uh, I think that people take for granted. Correct. But one thing I do not take for granted is where God has brought me from. Now, he's brought me from a, a long way because even being a pastor, I haven't always made the best decisions. Correct. I haven't made always the right decisions. But I tried to deal with the hand that was dealt with, to me at that particular time. Correct. So what I teach right now is try to be, because we lead by example. Yes, sir. So I try to lead by example in the way that, you know, I, one of the things I, can, I teach is that I cannot teach what I'm not living. Correct. You understand? It's hard mm -hmm. for a person to be effective if they're not living what they're preaching. Mm -hmm. So I'm an example of what I preach. Correct. I am, a, I am a, a, an example of what I preach. So when uh, people are looking at me and they see, you know, how I deal with different controversies and different things that I may deal with and they're in the presence, you know what? I try to do it in a godly manner so that when they're going through it, guess what? They can say, well, this, this is what pastor did. You know what I'm saying? This was the right way that he showed us how to do it. You know, because there's been different examples and different, you know, things that we had to deal with where I had to say, you know what? I got to be an example. OK, I, at one time, bro, back in the day, you know what? I was not a good example. Right. I was not a good role model. You know, I, w I was ready to fly off the top and do handle my business. Mm -hmm. However, you know, that I had to handle my business. But the Bible teaches me that a soft answer turns away wrath. You know what I'm saying? Jesus could have wiped out the world with everything that was going on. But you know what? A soft answer turned people, you know, in a different direction. He said, Lord, forgive them for they know not what they do. So he's our example. And that's the example that I try to follow. And that's the example that I try to lead by his example. Bishop Spencer, I know that a lot of people, when they look at you, they don't think that you go through the, the things of life, the, the, you know, the storms of life. They don't think, you know, they don't think everybody goes through that. Do you really go through those things? Bruh, I'm going to tell you something. I've been through some stuff. And I, another thing, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be here because the Bible says, whom he foreknew, he predestined. Correct. And who he predestined, he called. And who he called, he justified. And who he justified, he glorified. So I've been through some things in life. And I'm talking about some, you know, uh, issues, uh, sugar, uh, uh, cancer. You know what? But right now, I'm healed of all of those things. I'm not on any medication at all through all the stuff that I've been through. You know, my heart has been broke. Through church, you know, and the, the church hurt is the worst hurt. But you know what? Church healing is the best healing. So I've been through some things, man. Just like I said, just because we are ministers and pastors and so on and so forth, we are not exempt from the things that people go through in life. You know, I go through storms, marriage storms, you know, children storms, all kinds of stuff, financial health storms. You know what I'm saying? But my trust is in God. Correct. My trust is in God, you know, and, you know, sometimes, you know, I was teaching uh, Sunday yesterday about Job and the Bible talked about Job. It, it talked about, you know, the type of person, the character of Job. It talked about all his possession, you know, and it let us know that Job was a righteous man in that time. But the Bible asked Satan as he was going to and fro. He asked, did you have you considered? 
my servant Job. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, and I never give the devil credit for what I go through. You know what? I give God glory through everything that I go through. And sometimes rather than giving the devil credit, you know, and say, oh, the devil is doing this and the devil is doing that. How can the devil do anything except you allow him to do it? Correct. Because God has came back with all power in his hands. He has the keys to the kingdom and he's given us those keys, those keys, which is the wisdom and knowledge of God. So, you know, how can the devil do anything except we allow him? Sometimes we have to look at it and say, look, I'm being considered. God is considering and allowing me, because once again, I don't believe nothing happens on the face of this earth unless God allows it. Correct. So sometimes God allow us to go through some stuff that he can get glory. Mm. That's where I am, bro. You know, and people ask me, you know, how you doing? I say, I'm doing good. And I tell them, I say, I won't complain. I could, but I won't. Because I have no reason. If we look at the news and all the stuff that's going on in the world, yes. how could we complain? Mm -hmm. Man, I don't complain to nothing, when I, about nothing. When I get up in the morning, when I was in the service, we had a saying, mocks nicks. That mean, you know what? That don't matter. Correct. It don't mean nothing. So when I get up in the world in the morning, whatever happens during the course of the day is Mox Nicks. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? Somebody laid down the night before and didn't wake up. Correct. So you know what? I, when I get up, I say, thank you, Lord. Yes, Thank you. Whatever happens, at, you know, through the course of the day, guess what? I woke up this morning. Mm -hmm. His mercy was made new this morning. You know what I say? I'm not complaining about nothing. Whatever. I, you know, I, I drive and, man, and I'm driving down the highway going all up in the mountain. And I see a car over here in the ditch and I see a truck over there in the ditch. And I say, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever. Pray for that. And you know what? And say, Lord, I thank you that it wasn't me. You know, things happening to children, you know, you hear it on the news, but you know what? I ain't heard nothing about my children. Right. God is protecting me, covering me, you know what? And I thank God for his grace and his mercy. I thank God, you know, for my testimony right. and not a test of lie. Yes, you understand? And, and, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm really, really enthused about what God is doing, you know, and when I get excited, I, I start talking, man, you know, when God is in control and he taking right. over, sometimes you lose, you know, where you're at or where you're going because you just want to give God some praise. Yes. And that's where I am right now, bro. Yes. I just want to say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Because he's been good to me. All the time. Hey, all the time. If someone wanted to get in contact with you, Bishop, how would they go about doing Praise that? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You can reach me at Stand in the Gap, number eight, at yahoo.com. Amen. Stand in the Gap, eight, at yahoo.com. Amen. Because I'm standing in the gap, and number eight means new beginning. Okay. Amen. Okay. So when you call me, you ain't going to have no pity party with me. Uh -huh. Praise God. I'm going to let you know about the glory of God and how good God is. All the time. All the time. Amen. You know, Bishop, I really Amen. appreciate Thank you, you coming son. on the show. You know, what advice would you give our viewing audience in closing? Listen, I don't care what you're going through, what you've been through, where you come from. God is able. What's impossible with man is possible with God. If you don't never you tried everything and you hadn't tried Jesus, try him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. And after you taste and see how good he is, guess what? You looking for something greater in your life. Moving forward. God bless you. You know, God, uh, <laughs> Bishop, I really appreciate you coming on the show, you know, and I really love you. Come back. You Praise know, God. We have to talk about some more topics. Hey, Amen. Thank you. I would love to come yes, back, sir. Thank yes, you sir. so I much. Really Keep like on it. doing what you're doing. Thank you, ladies. I'm watching the show. You be encouraged.